Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing my Buggish box. Finally, um, this took forever to get here. Um, this is for the month of January. This is the young adult box for the month of January, right? Yeah, and it is literally almost about to be July. So yeah, I did cancel my Buggish box, um, but I have paid for up to the month of april so i should still be receiving some um i do love this box and i do want to subscribe again but i just couldn't do it anymore um but yeah maybe one day i'll go back but anyways here is everything in this box um let me go and see if i can find the quarter card first because i also think i opened this box backwards so <laughs> but yeah right here yeah here is the spoiler booklet that they do. Um, and this month theme was Supernatural Romance for the young adult. So, yeah. Okay. So the first thing is this huge box right here. And let's see if I... There we go. <clears throat> it's a nice box. So it says the Dread Trove Crown from Sarah J Mass. So I'm assuming it's a crown in here. Which is an interesting item. I never received a crown before in a box. So here it is. So here is the crown. Hopefully it's in focus. It's a nice crown and everything. I do like it. I think it looks very, very nice. Um, but yeah, it doesn't fit my big head. But <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Um, probably just going to put this in my Sari J Mass um, shelf on top of my books. Um, cause I really don't have a purpose for this besides just sitting there looking pretty on top of my <laughs> books. So yeah, I do think this is a nice item and it does look pretty good and it's nice way to it. So I do think it's a nice item. <laughs> so the next thing we have is a Wonderlust window collection from, and this is the Blood Forest from Jennifer L. Armitrout. So this is the new collectible for this year. Um, so this should be in every single box. Um, in the YA box, so I'll we'll go ahead and get this open, and here it is. To be honest, I'm not really sure, like, I guess it's just, like, like a window and, like, some scenery, and then you just hang it up on your wall or something. I'm sure, pretty sure that's all it's supposed to do. It does look cool and it's pretty heavy. Like it has some nice weight to it. Uh, let me see what it's what they say about it. Um, not on this side. So the Wonderlust window introducing our new YA box collectible for 2023. This is the first Wonderlust window to be featured in our young adult box. This month's Wonderlust window is inspired by Jennifer Armentrout's Blood and Ash series. Get a glimpse into the Blood Forest designed by Gabriel something. And the retail price is fifteen dollars. So that's all they say. So there is nothing what to do with it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you just hang it up on your wall, uh, which I'm not gonna do. I'm probably just gonna put it in my Jennifer L. Armor Trout shelf. Um, eventually, once I have my whole library set up. So I mean, it is pretty cool looking, but it's just mostly a decor piece. But I do think they're pretty cool. Um, the next thing we have is a Crave inspired necklace. Here is the box. The box are pretty as always. Um, I do like it actually. Um, I'm not really a big fan of bucket jewelry to be honest. Um, but it's on one side it says bite me, on the other side it's just like a flower. So it is pretty. But again, I'm not gonna get any use out of it. But that's okay. Um, right. So the next item here is a to do notepad. So here it is, nice packaging, um, artist is inspired by Devina, um, so this is inspired by nothing, yeah it doesn't say it's inspired by anything, so let me just go ahead and get this open, so we get a good amount of pages, but there's no cardboard on the back, so I wish it just had like cardboard, but whatever. So here's the design of it. Um, I think it's nice. I do like it. Um, but will I use it? Probably not. I just don't use this type of notepads really. 
um, especially where it's like fully time scheduled. I don't, but yeah, I do too. I do like the design of it, but um, probably won't get any use out of this if I'm being honest, but it is nice. Um, but yeah, that's that. All right, moving on to the last item before the book, I'm pretty sure. There's one more thing, but yeah, let's just open this big item, which is bookends. I'm gonna show you the packaging. It's inspired by Beauty and the Beast there. All right, so I'm back and here are the bookends and I think they're lovely. I love these, these are so pretty. Um, I like that they're transparent and you just have the roses on here. Like, I think they're so, so, so nice. And I like that they're different too. They're not the same as acting. They're just slightly different and I just love it. I love these bookends. Um, and hopefully I found a need for them, um, but I really don't use bookends just because I just, yeah, anyways, it doesn't really matter. But these are very pretty, so I do like these, um, but I already have like so many bookends, so, but <laughs> yeah, anyways. So the next thing we have, oh, okay, everything's just falling, but we have an art print here. I do like this art print, it is very, very pretty. So the art print is inspired by Sorcery of Thorns and it's for the YA theme announcement for February. So yeah, there's that. I do like that. That's very pretty. Now let's get into the actual book here now because yeah. So it is bubble wrap and it's also in this bag here. There we go. This is so pretty. Okay. So this is um, of shadow and moonlight and it's kind of damaged at the bottom here so that's kind of disappointing but this is by Luna Lorer I'm not really sure but here is the cover there I think the cover is absolutely beautiful so nice falling then we have the spine and the back cover there so we have these top sprayed edges which are black and then the bottom are whites with some detail and we have these sprayed edges which are also very pretty in a gradient with um, some nice swirls in it so I do like that. I like the edges, they're very very nice. Let's take off the dust jacket. We do have a reversible dust jacket this time and it's also very very pretty. So there's that. Um, it does have the title on the spine there, so I do like that. I just wish I also had it on this image right there, but that's okay. Because I really do prefer this one anyways. Um, we had some beautiful foiling on the naked heart back there. Um, some rainbow and iridescent foiling, which is so pretty. Then we have the spine, and then the back here with the same type of foiling on it, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. They did such a great job with their folding. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, then we have these end papers right here, which are the same on the back as well. But yeah, those are very nice. And we have a signature page, which I feel like we haven't received many signed copies from like Fairly and Lum Cray. So to get them still from Bookish Box is really, really good. Um, then we have an author letter on this page right here, so that's nice. And then I'm pretty sure this is the original cover right here. And, ooh. So this comes with a book playlist on the inside, which is so nice. I think that's really, really cool. And there's a character sheet and stuff, so I like that. So we have the prologue page. Yeah, this is a really, really pretty addition uh, for the British box, and I really love it. So, so nice. I think the British box does such a great job with their books. Um, ooh, also has like character artwork on the inside, which is so cool. I don't know if they does that throughout the whole book, or just sometimes, but oh my god. Okay, so I'm not going to show you guys more, just because there is more pictures. But I think there's gonna be spoilers for the whole book. But yeah, there's there's quite a quite a few, so that's actually really really cool that there's like images, character art throughout the book. 
Um, but yeah, the Witch Box does such a great job with their additions. Um, I do want to resubscribe to them, but the time is just, they're so behind. But I might subscribe again. Um, I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to keep collecting their special editions at least. Um, either way, from either um, their pre-orders or like, if I do get some of their other editions from recurring stuff like that. But they are very, very nice. Um, it is like hurt damage right here in the corner, but it's not that bad. So I don't think I'm gonna ask for a replacement or anything because I don't think they're gonna get one anyways. But yeah, this is very, very pretty. So I am happy with this box. I love mostly everything, um, but the book is absolutely beautiful. So I do love it. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Make sure to like, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.